We're back now, 836, with our Today in the Wild series. This morning, a closer look at one of the world's most terrifying and intriguing reptiles. We are talking snakes. Uh, it's, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> your snake invitation. Uh, it's been a summer of record-setting heat, and there's some new research out that shows that snake bites actually spike mm. when it's really hot outside. And this is a topic that NBC's Emily Aketa knows shall we say, all too well. Yes, I'd say so after a venomous snake bite sa tried to sabotage my wedding in the Smoky Mountains. And with snake bites and sightings on the rise in parts of the country, we are breaking down the do's and don'ts should you come face to face with the slithery reptile on your summer vacation. Amid a summer of scorching temperatures. I feel like my skin is sticky. Some new research on snakes could give you the chills. I just saw some movement. I looked down and there were two snakes just kind of perched. Based on snake bite ER visits, Emory University researchers found a significant jump in the likelihood of being bitten by a snake for every degree that daily temperatures increase. And even more so than other venomous creatures like spiders, suggesting something unique about snake behavior. Snake bite is one of those potential impacts of uh, a changing climate. We want to do a better job of being able to predict or project who may be bitten and when and where and how we can try to avoid that. This year, snake bites are on the rise in South Carolina, home to 38 snake species, six of which are venomous and can be deadly. The local poison control center reporting 174 cases in 2023, far outpacing recent years. I am deathly afraid of venomous snakes and I'm always stressing about you know, watch where you step. Despite the slithering reptiles, hikers still want to explore Congaree National Park. And wildlife biologist Stephen Bennett says a little knowledge goes a long way. When people are out and about. What do people need to know about snakes? They have no interest in you whatsoever. If you don't go up to it and threaten it or try to bother it, it's, it's going to go away. It doesn't want to have anything to do with you. We wove through the tranquil floodplains in search of snakes. Let's see if anybody's home under here. I admittedly trailed cautiously behind Bennett, known locally as Snake Man. Blow your eyes down and you just scan it. They could be a couple feet from us and we have oh, no idea. That's right. But the masters of camouflage are hard to find. They're hiding out. Taking cover under logs and in piles of rock and debris. We got a banded water snake right down there. Like the snake, our crew leader encountered, which can be aggressive and strike swiftly, but is not venomous. When you encounter a snake, stay calm and keep your distance. And contrary to scenes splashed across the big screen. All right, we have to, uh, we have to suck out the poison. Man, I ain't sucking nothing. If you are bitten by a venomous snake, do not try to slash the bite and suck out the venom. Avoid applying ice and don't use a tourniquet. Instead, wash the wound, try to safely identify the species, and most importantly, get to a medical facility as soon as possible. A venomous snake tends to leave two puncture marks from its fangs, as seen here in a picture I actually took in the Smoky Mountains last year. A venomous copperhead bite landed my then fiance in the hospital the night before our wedding, an early test of the in sickness and in health part of our vows. It's midnight, which means it's our wedding day. After a sleepless night in the ER, the doctor cleared Pat just in time to hobble down the aisle with a swollen ankle and a truly wild story. Every year, roughly seven to 8,000 people are bitten by venomous snakes in the U.S., but fatal bites are extremely rare. Should snakes prevent people from heading into the outdoors? Absolutely not. No. And in fact, uh, it's, it's really funny because, you know, <laughs> People would often say, oh, I'm so afraid I'll see a snake. And I'd go, yeah, I'm just really afraid I won't see a snake. So the majority of snake species in the U.S. are non-venomous and play a critical role in the Earth's biodiversity as both predator and prey. And if you're concerned about venomous snakes around your yard, a few things to keep in mind. Keep your grass cut low, install outdoor lighting, and clean up areas where snakes like to hide. Think logs, rock piles, and leaves. And guys, by the way, my husband's ankle has now fully recovered. No numbness, no swelling, no puncture marks. Wow. How was the there first is. dance at the wedding? Uh, it was a little bit of a lean. There was a yeah. tilt to it. Yeah, with well, what the grapefruit a great ankle. Cool. Yes, Great exactly. So now we have the almost unbelievable memory wow. of the they night before our wedding. You get bit by a snake on your wedding day. It's great luck. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> have heard that. Right? Yes, yes, absolutely. Snakes yes. and rain. So. Uh, really, thank you. Thanks, thank you. Tell your husband thanks as well. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.